Hey guys, welcome back to today's video and today I'm going to test and it's, I think so it's not that new the new all-nighter foundation from Urban Decay I don't have a full size, I just got the sample but I think so that will be really nice to test it out because my skin is very fuzzy and it's very oily in a T-zone and actually so far I haven't found a foundation which will be very nice to me which will not going to get oily and not going to get like cakey or something like that i haven't found any so i'm really looking forward to check this out and i hope so i will find any after so many years find my own foundation which will be my holy grail but yeah i already primed my skin not primed i my skincare was i used from origins the united states toner which I really like, but I can't use it too too often because it makes me very dry. On the top of that, I put my Embryolis Emulation Hydra Matte. So I think so. That's actually a very good cream and I really like it. It's actually make my skin mad. So we shall see how it looks like with this one. And just because my skin is pretty red today and I think it's not on my skin day. But I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish, the green one. I'm not sure actually if it's working or if it's not because I never really see a huge difference but at least it's make my foundation go smooth around my face and my face is all red today and under my eyes I also use a Smashbox Photo Finish Hydration under eye primer which I really like, I highly recommend this one so yeah, the lady and your Decay, she told me that the best way to put the foundation on is by brush. So I'm going to use today my Zoe Va Buffer 104. And I think so, I have a 1.5. And that's the number of the foundation, that's the color of the foundation. Yeah, she didn't really put the name on, but I mean the number on. So I'm going to tap a bit on my skin. I have some stuff to do today, so I think so that will be good test for this foundation. And full cover, apparently. I don't really like full covers foundations, because I like when I can see my freckles, now I can see myself. And the camera, so I will just buff it out. Yes, it is actually coverage. It's pretty high. It goes around around my face very well. I really like how it looks like. Put it down on my neck. Oh my god, I'm looking <laughs> so white. I'm not sure if it does have SPF in it. I need to check on the website. It doesn't leave any marks and the finish is actually matte I would say actually maybe some more satin matte it's hard to say okay we shall see how it looks like with my smash Lots of Smashbox products today. And my Smashbox contour stick, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite contour thing. I'll make it work. It's blending nice with my stick. It doesn't came off or something. It doesn't make any marks. So yeah, that's a good thing. It's work nicely. Mm. 
Okay, I will put my concealer. I'm going to mix my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and my La Connection Rusting Perfection because this one is too light for me right now. And actually, I can't. My skin is pale. But sometimes I'm thinking I'm more pale than actually I am. Oh my god, it shows up all my imperfections of the skin, all my texture. On my chin, I don't know, my face needs help. And I'm going to use my little beauty, not beauty blender, the Real Technique sponge. So yeah, it looks pretty nice so far. Hopefully it will stay on all day. Um, now I'm going to put um, under my eyes RCMA no color powder. No color powder. That's correct name. Not too much. And around all my face I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent set powder. And I'm going to use my puff to set my foundation. The brush. I've tried as well, double wear by Estee Lauder. <laughs> no. This foundation, I've, I'm not a fan of it. Absolutely not. It, I feel like I have a mask on my face. It's, it's just a no. It's really a no for this foundation. Or well, maybe I will try to get a sample one more time and I will try to do in front of the camera. So, Or maybe they would change something in the formula. So maybe now it's better. I think so, I will do the series of the foundations on my, on my channel. So I will try out all the foundations which they are apparently mattifying the best, blah 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 blah. I'm not going really to do contour today because I'm not feeling like, but I've lost my hula, bro hula bronzer. So yeah, I'm going to, lose it to use my hula bronzer by Benefit, it's one of my favorite bronzers. Including the, I love as well the Kat Von D one from the contour palette. Still look white, pale white on my screen. Whatever. For my blush, I'm going to use Start the Amazon Amazonian Clay. I think it's right. Amazonian Clay 12 Hours in color Tipsy. I really like this shape here. It's adorable. Okay, some life to my skin. And I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer as a highlight. So yeah, the face is finished. I will finish off my eyes off the camera and I will be back to you. But at the end I will use also my Urban Decay This Sleek Makeup Setting Spray Oil, con oil Control. So yeah, I will finish off my makeup and I will be back to you in a second. Okay, so my makeup is finished for now. We have 12, 10, 10 past 12. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's 12 past 10. And I have some stuff to do today. So we will see how the foundation is during the day. I hope so, it will stay all day. I forgot actually to check for you the price. And let me just check it. I really like the finish, even it's not that full cover because I still can see from my freckles and I can see even the redness here which I had. 
um, here before I apply the foundation. So yeah, they cost £27 in, on your Urban Decay page, I think so. They are available at um, House of Fraser, I think so, and on Debenhams. But anyway, yes, I'm going to check my foundation, how it looks like at the end of the day, because I'm not going to take my camera with me during the day, I just need a more privacy. I will check you out at the end of the day. Bye! Hey guys again, so I'm seeing hello, I'm saying hello at quarter past six. So it's been six hours when the foundation is on my face. So let's check this out. I think so much and it doesn't look that bad as it used to look like. I'm not sure if you can see it's getting red and it's a bit cakey and around my nose the foundation's gone nearly completely. I wear I was wearing today uh, sunglasses but it really didn't hurt the foundation which is good. My nose is a bit shiny, my forehead is not that you can't see it very on the camera, but it's just a little bit shiny and maybe a little bit of cakey. I didn't done any touch-up, I didn't put any extra powder on it. So I think so, if I will have to give it a score, that will be 7, yeah, that will be 7 out of 10. I would say it's not too bad. Not sure how it looks like longer. It was pretty hot today. It was very warm, sunny weather. So, and I was doing loads of shopping, I was walking around, so I would say it done a pretty good job. It's not this one that I would expect, especially around the nose, especially, and I didn't use any tissue or anything like that, but yeah, it's, you can, I think you can even see, like it's red and how shiny I am here right now. So yeah, my skin is very bad today, I don't know why, I need to do some face mask. So yeah. If it's worth it, in my opinion, I won't get it. No, it's not a foundation which I'm really dying for. And I really would like to try the Kat Von D one. I hopefully I will get it one day and I will still have to look for my favorite foundation. If you have any foundation which is mattifying, especially in the season for very oily skin, just please let me know in the comments down below. I will be very pleased, I will be so happy. And because I really like to try a new foundation, especially I can't find my favorite one so far. So yeah, that will be everything for today's video. Hopefully guys you enjoy it. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!